Welcome Brainverger users! This video is supposed to be one of the first of a number of video tutorials and demonstrations to show you some major processing steps in Brainverger KX. The version we're using right now is Brainverger 231, 64-bit on Windows. In this tutorial I would like to show you the options to segment or peel your brain in Brainverger. First of all, we use the data also used within BrainVerger's Getting Started Guide based on the subject CG. We use the BrainVerger wizard to create a VMR based on DICOM data. The data is stored in the BrainVerger standard folder BVQ Example Data Objects DICOM GSG. We call the VMR CG. First off, we check the contrast and brightness rulers and in this case don't adapt anything because the settings are quite optimal to visualize this data set. Please note that you can always go back to the same dialog via the options menu as soon as the 16-bit data set is stored. The first option would be to show you how to start the standard brain peeling. This can always be invoked from the volumes menu, uh, independent of the type of dataset native ACPC or Talairach that has been loaded. By clicking segregate brain from head tissue, an automatic number of steps is started that perform several things. For instance, an automatic cleaning of the background, an adaptation of the brightness of the white and gray matter, as well as a demarcation of white and gray matter to finally peel the brain out of the skull. Of course, within the procedure, several things can go wrong depending on the quality of the original data and the post-processing steps that have been performed after creation of the data. In this case, the result is not too bad, but can still be improved. First off, we would like to save this data, possibly with a different name like CG peeled. When we visualize the data, for instance by zooming into the settled slice using the control plus right mouse click, we can nicely see that especially some areas of the dura are still remaining in the peel data set, although they should have been removed within the procedure. Let's see how we can adapt this. Obviously, we can of course use the drawing tools in the segmentation tab of the 3D volume tools to remove parts of the data, but this will take quite a long time, especially in this specific case. So we try to find another way. First off, we would like to use the options of the segmentation tab. What you can always do is go back to the previous representation of the data CG and open the segmentation tab options. And instead of directly peeling the data over here, we just check the second check mark get result with labeled blue mask and then we click segment brain. Now in principle the same procedure as before via the volumes menu is invoked but it stops at the point when the brain is supposed to be peeled so we just get a labeled blue mask which is including the brain. And the major point is that of course this mask of UI now can be manually adapted to either include or delete voxels. So now we have the option to again zoom into the data and use the drawing tool to either add voxels like this or delete voxels by using the shift button. When, anyth when anything is now um, colored with black it will be automatically removed from the current blue demarcation mask. And as soon as this is finished, which is of course also done in 2D mode, so slice by slice, you can basically start the brain peeling by clicking the button Reload Marked and again save the result. We go back to the previous CG VMR and now try the third approach, which is basically also the standard approach done with BrainVoyager native VMR data. 
and which is also correcting for the inhomogeneity in the data. So we open the volumes menu, go to the V16 dialog, and basically start the auto IIHC, which is the automatic intensity-based inhomogeneity correction procedure. This procedure will, of course, besides peeling the brain, also perform a correction of intensities within gray and white matter to provide a more homogeneous data set in the end. The brain peeling part is done first, which means the result of the brain peeling would be exactly the same as before, but now we have the chance to use the inhomogeneity corrected data set to perform another brain peeling, which I will show you in a couple of minutes. Brain Voyager automatically saves a new version of the VMR, usually called subject name underscore IIHC for in intensity based inhomogeneity correction. The plot's popping up showing us the result of an intensity histo histogram performed with the data before and after two cycles of the inhomogeneity correction procedure. We close the plots and inspect the data. And as we can nicely see, there's still Dura remaining in the dataset representation, but the data homogeneity and intensity settings should be different from the beginning. One option we have now is just to start the brain peeling again on the basis of the already peeled dataset, basing on the idea that the dataset is now more homogeneous and it should be a little bit more easy to run the brain peeling right now, but to be safe we use the second option we learned to namely use the options menu and to just, just get the labeled or blue mask before actually running the brain segmentation or brain peeling so that we can still manually adapt it. And of course, if we don't like the result, we can always use the reload all button in the segmentation tab to get back to our previous data set. What we can see nicely right now is that apparently re the result improved, but it's still not 100%, so we still see some leakage in some areas going from the peel surface into the uh, dura in certain areas. But overall, the quality has improved. And of course, you should also always check if you potentially miss some important voxels of the brain that should definitely be included in the peeled version of your data set. In this case, you can of course always use your mouse drawing tool to include those voxels. This. To finally invoke the brain peeling, you would just click the reload marked button and again save the result. Now in the final step, we would like to compare the results obtained by the different um, procedures of brain peeling. So instead of uh, just loading one, the CG IIHC peeled VMR, we additionally open the CG peeled dataset which we created before and compare them side by side by using the window timeout. Additionally, we can use the link VMR's checkmark on the 3D coords tab of the 3D volume tools to browse exactly the same voxel position in each of the datasets. And as you can very nicely see, the result on the left side is not only more homogeneous, but it also has a lot less dura included in the peeled version. But there are still some remainders, which we can now very easily mark and cut from the data if we wish to do so. Of course, you should always check if, in a current situation, it's necessary to get an absolutely perfect representation of your peeled VMR, or if you can just use the data as is. So that concludes the first quick video tutorial. Others will follow. I wish you a good brain voyaging. Bye.